Okay, so this is a video tutorial on how to use Canopix in VMware on Vista. So let's go ahead and go to VMware, VMware.com, Products tab, this uh, VMware player, Download. Um, if you're new, register. Um, if not, just go ahead and log in, or more than likely you already have the EIG. Alright, um, version 3.0.1 worked for me, so go ahead and download that, and then while that is downloading, go over and grab Canopics, go to canopics.net, down, get Canopics, Go down to mere list on the official site. All the way to the bottom. University of Wisconsin was the best for me, so click on HTTP. Um, it was one megabyte per second. One megabit, whatever. All the way to the bottom. And so this one um, is properties. This one is the English version, newest. Um, so download that. You'll notice that it's the 691 megabyte file. So uh, download that. It'll take a while. So when that's finished, um, go ahead and open up VMware yes and go ahead and create a new VMware machine install disk image um, ISO go ahead and search for your how do I do this? my computer <laughs> haven't used Vista in a while open 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 and my rip disks open open and I really hate uh no I don't want to do that I really hate Vista right now because it's making me have to right click for everything Linux uh, go down and pick other Linux uh, 2.6.x kernel, uh, not 64-bit, because just it's not a 64-bit version of of Canopics, and then go ahead and enter in Canopics um, version. Version 6.2. Next. Leave it at 8 megabytes. I mean, 8 gigs. Gigabytes. Uh, it's not going to use up the full 8 gigabytes right away. Um, it'll go ahead and use about 100 megabytes and then um, use more as you go ahead and save to the desktop or whatever you want to do. Um, of the Canopics. I'll just save straight to the. Yeah. Um, in the custom hardware, all I change is the Accelerate 3D graphics. It helps with getting everything a lot more smoother uh, visually. So, yeah. Um, for you, it might not work. It might. Depends on your graphics card if it supports it. 
Okay. Um, it's asking if you want to download a tool. Uh, just don't. Do not download. Um, this is a live CD, so you can just exit that. You're not going to eject the disk at all. And there you go. Here's Canopic 6.2. Hooray. And Control Alt to leave the screen. And um, Alt Print Screen. Go open the paint. Set all per screen. Apparently, alt print screen does not work. Anyway, I'm going to cheat. And yes, I am using two desktops. That's why it looks like that. And there you go. Don't save. Um, and that's it. Thanks for watching. See you.